Welcome to my yard. Coffee time with me and what it is to daily embody being an earth anchor. You know, where I start every morning is right here on my deck. And I put my feet in the earth. I connect. Here we go. I connect. I get my coffee. And I do that breath. That wonderful, beautiful toroidal breath of bringing the energy down through the crown and up through the bottoms of my feet. Connecting and pulling the energy down from the central sun, the galactic central sun, down through my crown, in through all my intuitive centers, meeting in my heart where I'm pulling up the energy from my feet through the Earth's central sun or what is considered the Earth's core. However you need to envision it, there is power inside this earth. She's alive, she's sentient, and she is always in reciprocity with us. Pull that energy up through your feet and bring the energies from both of your poles into heart chakra. See them connecting, spiraling around one another, and moving through your body, healing, connecting, and doing a, a beautiful job of harmoniously bringing each of your chakras, chakra centers, organ systems, organs, cellular intelligence back into harmony with an evolving sphere. You're an evolving body and you are part of an evolving sphere. After you've done that breath, consider where else you can put your energy. Is there a beautiful spot on your property? I have a beautiful spot on my property. I'm gonna to have to put down my coffee so I can show you. But one of my favorite places is actually right here. I've got these chimes and I love to sit and just bring myself into full reciprocity with the stillness, with the quiet, with the birds. I've got a bird feeder and two chimes here. Sometimes my focus is actually in this gazebo right behind me that my husband built and it has a swing in it and it overlooks our pond here behind me. You know, there's got to be sacred space on your property. It doesn't have to be fancy. If you look at mine, mine's still pretty roughshod. You know, there's great plans for patios and great plans for, you know, approved fescue. But the truth of the matter is, is you got to work with what you have and then you need to deepen your appreciation of what is already on your property, what is already attracted to it, because nature is always looking to create some sort of blueprint or imprint in your world so that you can be in reciprocity with her. She's always giving you second, third, fourth, gazillion chances. You know what's interesting is I love mushrooms, and I'm going to tell you what, take a look at this pile here. Accidentally or intuitively, I had created a trench style organization for building mushrooms just because of how I stacked some of the downed logs that we've had to clear on our property. This is actually what you do when you're trying to cultivate the mushrooms. You stack them and you let some of the buildup um, keep kind of an earthen protection over it, um, keep it moist. And it looks like we were growing, again, unconsciously, but intuitively, oyster mushrooms. This year, I'm going to be looking to um, bring in some of the shiitake and maybe some of the hen in the woods. Um, all of these are wonderfully edible and consciously grow some of the oyster mushrooms. When you consider what space you have and how you want to use it, how much do you want Mother Earth to be able to nurture you? If you consider your version of heaven or your version of paradise, what does it look like? What does it look like? Have you ever considered what that is? What is it that you're looking to attain? Because there are things all over that are looking to give to us and we're very often unconscious. Here's another example. If you can see this right here, this is a wild blueberry. I didn't plant it. The earth just put her there for me. Um, I think that the previous landowners might have planted, see this pretty blossoming beauty right here? Those are estate plums. 
things just grow out of the ground. But if we don't know what they are and we don't take the time to ask, and why don't we take the time to ask? What kind of a hurry are we in? What's the rush? A fifth D, fifth dimensional, fifth density earth. What's the rush? Start living in it right now. It's talking to us all the time. It's letting us know that it's time to come back to a conscious relationship with the earth, a reciprocal relationship with the earth. So I'm welcoming all you earth anchors. Consider coming and joining us in April and quarterly, every time we offer it through the seasons that are mild and comfortable so that everyone enjoys the experience. This up upcoming is the 26th to the 28th here in Raleigh. But this is gonna be an ongoing series because there's not a single one of us that doesn't need to deepen, enrich, or even begin our relationship with our conscious relationship with the earth. And so we're here to introduce that and help every single one of us be more grounded and more conscious earth anchors.